Hi, I'm Kyle with DIY Auto Homeschool, and this is going to be a short video. Uh, <clears throat> I'm working on the brakes on the rear of this 2003 Suburban, and I was hoping to get to shoot a video for it, but if I end up having to finish the job up today, I just don't have the time uh, to get it. If I can put it off till this weekend, uh, I'll probably be able to get you guys a video on it. But I did run across something that I wanted to show you. Um, sorry if it's kind of noisy and windy, but that's Kansas for you. Anyway, I'm going to shift the camera to look down here and I want to show you guys what I found that uh, if you're doing your own brakes, you need to look out for and be aware of. Okay, so we're off the tripod. Uh, I couldn't get the right shot with it, but these two lines here and then this shiny spot right here, these aren't just fancy decorative designs they decided to put in here. Uh, if you look down here, you can see where the, the pad is. Uh, let me see if I can get this right here that I'm pointing at. This is the pad, and this piece of metal that's sticking out, that's one of the shims, the pads that come on the, the back of the pad. Sometimes they're attached, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they clip on, sometimes they just, they're kind of glued on, but they come off. What's happened is while this truck was running and the pad was thicker and it was out here and then it was here, this, uh, this little piece of metal fell down and it laid against the rotor as it was turning and it just slowly, slowly started to cut through it. And this can go far enough that it will cut clean through here and cut the top of this rotor free from the um, the friction surface, the surface that the pads clamp against. And then you've got the axle driving this portion of the rotor, which will still be clamped down by the wheel. And then your uh, the friction face here clamped bet between the brakes, never turning because it's cut loose from the hat of the rotor. So watch for this. You see these lines like this and that, this rotor needs to be replaced. Um, now the brake pads on the other side had gone far enough that they started to to scratch up a pretty good area here so we were going to replace these rotors anyway. But if you're looking at uh, turning the rotors instead of replacing them, if you see this, no go. Replace the rotors. So wanted to share that with you guys so you all know to look out for that if you're doing your own work. Uh, let's get back up on the tripod. Okay, so like I said, if I can put this off a couple days till the weekend here, I'll see if I can get you guys a full video on doing the brakes on these. But that's something very important to look out for, uh, keep an eye out for, because it can, it can completely cut that loose. You don't know how deep it is, how close it is to breaking that off anyway, so don't ever put those back on if you see that it's got a cut in that rotor from that shim falling down and starting to cut through it. You'll see it every now and then, not not all the time, uh, but having run across it, I wanted to share it with you guys. So thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Uh, sorry again about the wind. I'm sure it's playing heck with the microphone. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.